Now, if you haven't already heard, we will be getting a Jason Voorhees origin story in the format of a Friday the 13th television show named Crystal Lake. Now, it's slated to come out sometime in 2024, so in today's video, we'll be unpacking everything we know about the series so far. There's some big and exciting stuff, so let's get into it. Okay, so the Friday the 13th franchise has been running now for well over 40 years. It spawned 12 movies and grossed over half a billion dollars at the box office. Now, while that may seem like not much by today's standards, let's not forget that this is in the horror genre, and they cost a fraction of the price to make. So half a billion dollars over 12 movies is actually quite successful. However, since the 2009 reboot simply titled Friday the 13th, which was received with mixed reviews, Jason Voorhees has been pretty quiet. But Peacock is seemingly going to try and get a hold of this fairly low-risk moneymaker and put together a prequel series, an origin story for the Hockey Mask Killer. Now, this was actually announced on Halloween in 2022, so it's been basically a full year since the announcement, and we still have next to no information. But let's go over the things that we do know. What I can tell you for sure is that production has been drastically delayed due to the writers and actor strikes. But as these seem to be coming to an end, hopefully with the right resolutions for everybody involved, we can hope to see more very soon. I would have thought that they initially would have planned to drop a trailer or something similar on Halloween this month, but now it's not seeming likely. Perhaps a poster or something, but anyway, what do we know? It will be written and executive produced by Brian Fuller and Victor Miller, along with executive producers Mark Tobaroff and Rob Barsamayan. A24 will serve as the studio behind the series and it will air on Peacock. In January 2023, Adrian King was cast in a recurring undisclosed role. She previously played Alice Hardy in the 1980 original film. Now, if this really does serve as an actual origin for Jason, it will be very interesting to see when it's set. If it's a direct prequel, then it should be set in the 50s, where Jason drowns due to negligence from camp counsellors. Or maybe it'll be set in today's present and will be more of a remake prequel than an official one. Now, I've heard that the actor that is supposedly playing Jason is an adult, so it looks like more of the show will focus on the later years rather than his early ones, and we'll hopefully get an official answer to why exactly Jason becomes immortal. Now, Brian Fuller has previously stated that Crystal Lake is less of a prequel series than a pre remake series, kind of backing up what I said a second ago, and this could be a newly forming concept for the horror franchise, after requels or legacy quills, which are basically brand new characters supported by legacy characters, I guess very similar to what Halloween has done with the recent trilogy, making it new, but also old. When asked if there were any limitations on using characters and locations from the Friday the 13th franchise, Fuller said, Everything. We can use everything. We can go to hell, we can go to space. That's not to say that we will do those things, although if we do go 10 seasons, I will be lobbying hard to go to space. This is of course in reference to Jason X. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this news has me very excited. There is still so much you can do with a character like Jason, and I think a TV series is definitely the way to do it. I also feel like TV is the media format that best suits the horror genre going forward. Look at stories like Haunting on Hill House. That's a story that really gets to be told properly over the course of, say, 10 episodes. I think the slasher sub-genre could really benefit from more time with characters, whether it be building up a backstory for Jason as a psychopathic killer, similar to what Rob Zombie did with Michael Myers in his Halloween reboot, or just giving the audience more time to actually care about the victims. It makes a lot more sense to me to move this slasher sub-genre onto TV. What do you think? Let's discuss all of this in the comments down below. That's it for me today, my friends. Thank you all so much for watching. Lock your doors and bolt your windows, and I'll see you next time on Dead Skid. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is a brand new channel I could really do with the support. Thank you very much. See ya.